Hiya, it's Robin here. It's lovely to see you. Now, I don't know if you can believe it, but this assembly marks a whole year since I've been doing video assemblies. And so I thought I'd bring an old friend back for today's assembly. Now, last week, it was the first anniversary of us all going into lockdown. Uh, if it were a wedding anniversary, it would be the paper anniversary. Do you know any of the other wedding anniversaries? Here's a little quiz to try. There are five to try and guess. Let the quiz run through or pause quickly on each question. It's up to you if you want to discuss the answers. And the answers are shown after each picture. Good luck. When people get married, they celebrate the love they have for each other. And when people fall in love, they can feel excited with the whole world seeming to be more alive. But I wonder whether love means the same thing after 10 years, 25 years, or even 50 years of being married. I came across some quotes from children aged between four and eight who were asked the question, what does love mean? I'll read you two of their answers, and then I'd like you to pause on the picture and talk about what you think love means. When my grandmother got arthritis, she couldn't bend over and paint her toenails anymore. So my grandfather does it for her all the time, even when his hands got arthritis too. That's love, Rebecca, aged eight. When someone loves you, the way they say your name is different. You just know that your name is safe in their mouth. Billy, aged eight. For Christians, the story of Easter is essentially about love. It's about how God loves the world so much that he came down from his space and entered our space as a human. He experienced the good bits and the sad bits of life and he even had to die. But Easter ends with the ultimate surprise. So let's watch this story called Jesus and the Very Big Surprise. Jesus and the Very Big Surprise. A true story about Jesus, his return and how to be ready. Jesus always surprises everybody. Even though he is the maker of all the planets and galaxies in the universe, surprise, he came to earth as a little baby. And even though he is the king of kings, he wasn't born in a big, beautiful palace. Instead, surprise, he was born in a little stable where the smelly animals lived. When Jesus grew up and started preaching and teaching, he surprised people all the time. One of his favourite ways to surprise people was by telling them stories about what God is really like. Some people thought God was always angry. Some people thought God was a trickster who liked to make bad things happen. And some people thought God didn't care about them at all. Of course, Jesus knew exactly what God was like. So he told a story about God's love in a way that would surprise everybody, even you. The Servants Who Waited by Jesus of Nazareth Jesus told a story about servants waiting for their big fancy master to come home from a great big wedding. It was their job to watch and wait with candles burning bright. The servants had to be ready for the moment the master would return. But that isn't easy. When the master is away, the servants keep very busy. 
There are dishes to wash and animals to feed and clothes to clean and pipe organs to polish. And when all that work is done, the servants still need to be ready. When the master comes home, they will serve him a midnight snack, fluff his pillow, bring him his best robe and read him a bedtime story. But until then, they wait and wait and wait until finally the master returns but the servants are in for a big surprise come and rest says the master you must be tired from waiting up for me come and sit down at my table and i will serve you i know just what you need the end in jesus's story the master loves his servants so much that he puts on servants' clothes and he serves them instead. What kind of master would love like that? What kind of God would choose to be a servant? Surprise! Jesus would. He is the great master who serves. Like the master in the story, Jesus surprised everyone by using his power to serve. He suffered and died on the cross so we could live with him forever. But Jesus still had one more very big surprise. He came alive again. Then he went back to his father in heaven and sent his Holy Spirit to stay with us till he returns. No one knows the day or hour when Jesus will return. It could be any minute. And just like the servants in his story, we have plenty to do while we wait. There are hungry people to serve, lonely people to care for, friends to share with and enemies to forgive. And it all begins with loving Jesus, the great master who serves. He knows what we need because he is what we need. So get ready. The master is coming. I've got some questions for you to think about. The first questions are, what do you think of the idea that Jesus is a servant? And how could this help Christians understand what God might be like? And my second set of questions are, what do you think about the Christian belief that Jesus came back to life? And why do you think Christians think it is such good news? Christians can't prove that Jesus came back to life. However, because they believe he did, Christians want to follow Jesus' example. Maybe serving the hungry, caring for the lonely, sharing and forgiving enemies. And whatever we may believe, I wonder if we could agree that these are good things for us all to try and do. Our song of the week this week reflects the idea that God is the biggest, most amazing being beyond anything we can understand. For Christians, this belief that God is the cause of the universe and had the power to bring Jesus back to life means that they feel loved, comforted and safe, even in hard or sad times. So the song is called God is Bigger and it's by Awesome Cutlery. The animation, of course, is in Lego. Enjoy! Life can get us down Things that happen make us frown Slip on a banana skin Trip and fall into a bin Sometimes we just wonder why Things that happen make us cry We get ill or hurt ourselves But we can always tell each other We can always tell each other God is big Some 
people make us sad Wind us up and make us mad Call us names or pull our hair Laugh about our underwear Sometimes we feel on our own Things that happen make us grow Nothing seems to go our way But we can always tell each other We can always tell each other As it's the end of term and approaching Easter, I've asked Rev Glynn and Mandy to do our prayers for us today. Let us pray. Loving God, as we come to the end of this school term, we give you thanks that we have been able to share time together in school. This has been a difficult year, but we have achieved much. There have been fun moments. There have been times when we have needed help. We thank you for the skills of our teachers and support staff who have helped us and encouraged us in our learning. Bless us all with rest and enjoyment in our holiday. And as we look forward to the new term, continue to be with us as we teach and as we learn. Amen. Amen. Our tricky question of the week this week is, I tried talking to God, but I don't hear him speaking. I'll leave you to see what Rev Glynn has to say and to discuss what you think. And I'll see you all after Easter when we'll be in the summer term. Bye. Glynn, tricky question. A child said to me, I've tried talking to God, but I don't hear him speaking to me. And actually, I know a lot of people who would say that themselves. They just don't hear God speak. So how do you answer that question? Again, it's not an easy answer to this question, but when we talk about prayer, we are talking about engaging in a relationship. So we may talk to God about our concerns and our worries. And sometimes we just have to sit still and be quiet. And sometimes we just have to simply trust. We may not get someone speaking into our ears, you know, in a verbal sense, but we may just get a sense of knowing what to do, a sense of being guided and a sense of being upheld in a particular situation. And so it does come to an element of trust. And as we wait upon God, as we listen to God, he may well direct us in ways that might be surprising to us.